What up, it's your boy The Incredible Man. Yes, I am back at it again. And this is Is It Wrong to Try to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon, Season 3, Episode 2. And honestly, man, there's a lot of stuff going down this season. We have sentient monsters. We have Belle finding Wiene, taking her back to the Hestia Familia's mansion, and everybody else kind of being on the outs, but then kind of coming around to Wiene just staying with them. And then we have Wiene hurting Belle and Belle saying it's okay, then filing down her fingernails and her kind of pretty much becoming enclosed and enclosed in with the family. But then we have everybody else on the outside that may look at this a little different because she's a monster. Let's dive into episode two and find out, man. I don't think I do it good, no, I think I do it great They would do it if they could, they can't do it so they hate Everybody wanna look, but nobody wanna play Stealing eyes Is this a, like a slave trader thing? Oh, they keep it. This the guy from the opening. Oh, man. 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 Oh, man. This is the guy from the opening. Oh, man. This is the guy from the opening. Oh, man. This is the guy from the opening. Oh, man. This is the guy from the opening. Oh, man. And he's just killing monsters. He has them in cages and killing them. Oh, he's just trying to get out of there. He's just trying to get out of there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, so he's a god. Oh, dude, this story's Monster One Wing. Yeah, because you dig around carelessly, then. Right. Well, definitely, we know that one guy in particular is chasing her because he wants to sell her. Yeah, but you have to stay here. We can't have you coming with us. Yeah, because she's a monster, so... We knew he was going to ask for you. Well, she knows something is up. Aisha! Well, she was in the opening, too. Well, we we all know Aisha fine out in this piece. Ryu's jealous. Ryu's jealous. Aisha's level four or five too, right? She does a little bit.
He does? No, no. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> you. <laughs> it is, it is. I love me some Aisha, but I love Ryu too, man. Ryu's the goat, man. Oh, wow. Well, we know Ryu is the GOAT. Did that dude send these monsters there? Oh, come on, Bill. Get on your A-game. Oh, because they kind of look like Wiene or because they're monsters. It's something of that sort. Because he he's had that connection with Wiene. And his guards have been lowered a little bit. Now he's a little afraid to kill monsters. Oh, Bale, you can't be like that, dude. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you get him, Lily. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Right, that'll cause way more problems than what it's worth, man. Oh, uh, y'all shouldn't have came back right not now, because they're looking to see if people Somebody's out there. Who is this? We didn't abduct her. We saved her. She's a monster. A sentient monster. Oh, wow. She's holding a full-blown conversation, too. Okay, so this is the harpy from the opening.
So it's something about this part of the dungeon that breeds sentient monsters. Oh, uh, see, Bill, I knew you guys going there trying to get more information was going to be bad. Man, I love you. We'll talk about this at home. <laughs> right. We need to talk about this when we get back to the mansion. They're trying to gather their thoughts because this is crazy. We've never experienced this at all. And she wants to coexist. She doesn't want to fight if she doesn't have to. Wow. Oh, Bill. Hermes. Okay, I gotta look him up because I don't know what is what is he the god of. So they've been doing this for a minute. I don't think it's him, though. So he only cares about his entertainment. Well, he definitely has something to hide. But I don't think, I don't think he's the one that's doing it. They're definitely hunting the, um, the monsters.
What's going on, Wayne? What do you find? So she just wanted to hide in Bell's room. You have the winning smell. Oh, she's going to hear them. Well, Lily's scared. Lily's scared, and that's and it's very valid. But she's going to hear you guys, and she's going to leave, and that's going to create more problems. <sighs> And see, that's what you're looking at. You're looking at the fact that she's a monster. And it's... She heard you. Oh, now you feel some type of way. That's the thing. And she wasn't even eavesdropping. She was just hiding and just happened to hear it. And it's not It's not like she asked to be a vivery or a monster that can speak. Yeah, I feel like she's going to bump into the dude with the goggles. She's going to save that girl. Oh, no, but she exposed herself. It's a good thing that she saved the girl because she learned that from Belle, but she exposed herself. Oh, no. Ah. They're just going to ignore the fact that she saved his girl, for one. They're just going to ignore that. And they start chunking rocks at her. First of all, I can't believe demi-humans are taking a part in this. That's true. It will cause a whole bigger problem than what it's worth. But we can't just leave her like that. I told you guys there was another. I told you the F what? I, to, I told you the F was wasn't 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 Lily. It was somebody else. I told you. I told you. It was a possibility it could have been Lily, but. That was Lily. You guys were right. You guys were right. It was Lily. You guys were right. It was Lily. 
I apologize. I was wrong. That was my fault. I apologize. She just looked. I know that Lily can change, but she just looked like so different. You guys were right. It was Lily the entire time. It was Lily the entire time. So the, they tested this out, right? They let Belle leave the dungeon with her to test and see if humans and monsters could coexist. That was, is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? Season three, episode two, AKA Dan Machi, season three, episode two. And you guys were absolutely right from the jump. Everybody that said Lily was the elf, congratulations, you guys are the goats and you deserve a prize, but I don't have a prize to give you, but you deserve something. So take this as the award that you were right and I was wrong. And I even jumped to conclusions yet again in the episode because I just assumed that it wasn't Lily. I mean, I, I just thought that it was might've been somebody else. I, I I knew that Lily could transform and, and you know, kind of like shape shift and be, become someone else. But I just did, it just didn't register in my mind that this could be her. But you guys were absolutely right, and you are the goats. Everyone that called it out from the very beginning that that was Lily from the jump deserves an award and a round of applause, so let's give them that. I was wrong, and, you know, I'll be the first to admit it when I'm wrong. But, dude, that was great. Um, We see that they got a little bit more information. We learned that there's more sentient monsters in the dungeon on the 19th floor, and... Bell and Wealth came in contact with one that held an actual full conversation with them. Wene is still trying to figure out some stuff because she's so little, but this one looks full grown and she's holding a full conversation with Bell and Wealth. And she's worried about Wene. Now, cut back to outside of the dungeon, we have Wene playing hide and go seat with Haruhime, and she actually hears their whole plan and Lily's objectives about well, we should get rid of her because she's just a bum waiting to go off and she leaves. So they have to go save her. Lily, fi Wene finds herself in a predicament where she saves this little girl from having these crates crush her. And all of a sudden, all of the people just start throwing rocks there. Get out of here, you monster. Leave. Ah, monster. Oh my gosh, my children. They're afraid. Okay, sure. Granted, true. That's, that's legit. But there's demi humans in the crowd. So y'all just gonna sit here and tell me that just because y'all can speak and y'all are half monster or, or dog or cat or whatever, it's okay to objectify these monsters that can speak. Oh, granted, they didn't know that she could speak, but like they just saw a monster, but they saw the fact that she saved this girl. That's even if they didn't have any anything else to hold on to, like with her speaking or being sentient or anything like that, she saved this girl. So that in itself deserves a little recognition. And then Belle was rushing to save her and Wealth was like, no, 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 we can't intervene. And that was very smart. So people would know that their family was directly involved with the monster that's walking around outside of the dungeon. But Lily came in for the win, even though like this whole problem stemmed from her, but she came in for the win. And thanks to you guys, you called it from day one that we, uh, the elf was Lily and you guys were right. But we, uh, Lily came in, saved Winnie and told Belle to meet him at the church in the secret room. So that was nice. And it was, and that's how this episode ended. But we see that um, Icaros, I think that's his name, his Familia is the ones that's kidnapping these monsters and selling them. And they want a Viva or Viva, however you want to say it. And they can sell it for a whole lot of more money because it's a monster that can speak and talk and everything. So they can sell it to a noble and sell it for a lot of money. Dude, overall, this episode was fantastic. Granted, I, w I don't want to say it was a little slow, but it was more informative at the very beginning. And then that's when the action picked up like towards the end. And we see that somebody's watching them. Um... And I feel like they kind of, they're the ones that kind of set all of this in motion. They may be even the ones that created the sentient monsters on the 19th floor of the dungeon. I don't know. There's a lot more stuff that we need to figure out. But overall, I was in love with this episode. And Lily kind of redeemed herself when she saved Winnie Because she, granted, everything she was speaking was true. But it did need to be said. And she said it, but Winnie heard her. And her saving Winnie kind of saved her from everything else, in my opinion. But... 
overall, man, it was a great episode, man. This is your boy, Nick Incredible. Don't forget to smash the like button too. You can't smash it anymore. Comment down below, and I'll be sure to respond to each and every one of them. And subscribe, but only if you really want to, man. And remember that anime matters, anime is greatness, and anime is life, man. Peace out.